Hi everybody, it's Diane. I just finished doing the thrift store haul video that you probably saw yesterday and I said that I wasn't going to play because I had chores to do, but I want to play. I'm just going to do a little bit. I just want to make the cards that will go inside these pockets. So you saw me make the pockets on the fronts of the signatures for these two golden book journals and both journals have been spoken for by the way um, but the one the two that you hadn't seen were these two I hadn't done these on camera so I just finished those and this heart trim is I still have one piece of that in my shop I put pieces of it in there last week and I still have one piece left one yard so I have I used the manila file folder that I just bought at the thrift store today and cut it into the right size to fit these pockets but now I want to use some of this huge collection of vintage magazine images and decorate those cards with so um, I want to tell you that I, I'm working on putting collections of these things in my shop I have 10 stacks on my dining room table that I'm sorting into. So I hope to have that done sometime this week. Um, so I, I took out the images that I want to keep, but there were way too many. I've, I've collected so many vintage magazines and catalogs and um, I couldn't possibly use them all. So I've been working on taking them apart and um, taking out the ones that I want to keep and use in my journals and then the rest some really awesome images are being sorted into piles so that I can put them in my shop so you can watch for them but this is just the part that I'm keeping I have some of them divided into little packets but some of them aren't divided yet because I just finished sorting so I've got quite a mess here but I'm going to set them aside and pull out one of my cards. I think I will round the corners on these cards. And probably ink the edges. I'm not I'm not going to ink all the black, the white black. I'm not going to ink all the white pages in these. But I think the cards look better when they're inked around the edges. Let's just see if I have an image in here that I can use. This is a vintage Romans catalog from 1963. She's quite cute, and she... She fits. I don't want to cut off heads or feet on these ladies, but for this one I could trim her off a little bit. I got to see my grandchildren in the Christmas program at church last night. It was quite cute. <clears throat> they used all the children from the little ones up to the teens. And some of the time it was just the teens, some of it was just the kids, and some of it was combined. And they did readings of poetry and scripture so it was very nice to see Sorry, I am going to take the time to cut out between the arms and the torso.
Maybe I should have had all of these chosen and cut and then just done the video of putting them together, but this is what I'm working on right now. I won't have time to do all of the cards. I have, I'll have six to do. I could make the time, you know, but I told myself I would get some of my housework done. I need to clean my bedroom and the hall. I have a schedule. I divided up the rooms of my house and have them on a cleaning schedule and today is the day to do my bedroom and the hallway, the upstairs hall. So that means changing the sheets, picking up clutter, Actually, I'm supposed to do it tomorrow. Today was grocery shopping day. But tomorrow is going to be a busy day. I'm not working, but I'm... My sisters and I are cooking for my parents, making lunch for them. And doing our gift exchange with them. And then um, singing Christmas carols for the people in their apartment building. So I want to do tomorrow's chores today if I can. I'm just going to trim her off. This is just an area rug from a decorating magazine. Was just sitting here and I thought well that's the right color okay I don't want to um, put too much on these cards like no trims or anything because they have to slide in and out of their pockets So the decorating magazines are from the 70s, I think. Most of the magazines that I have in my vintage collection are older than that. And the decorating ones, I think I got them from the library for free. people donate magazines to the library they just put them in a pile and out in their lobby or foyer they have they have books for sale in the foyer lobby whatever you want to call it and then they have free things like the magazines oh I just ripped her head right off Must be gentle with the glue stick. It 
See, you'd never know it. The pockets vary in size a little bit, but I cut the cards five by, no, four by six. Yeah, four by six and maybe a little bit smaller than six inches so that they would slide in and out easily. Take a scrap of the index card. I won't put the circles on any of the others that I do on camera. I'll do that off camera. But I want you to see me do one completely. And I like to know I'm putting it in the right spot. The glue dries so fast. Now I could, and I may, put an eyelet on the tab and hang something off it. So I may do that, but for now, let's move on to the next card. I'd like to look for like vintage advertising. I think most of these images are bigger than I want. Here's the cover of one of those Architectural Digest 1978. got to take the time to sort these. These are all big pages too. So 
something like this, these larger um, advertising images that I can cut down. Flake corn, corn muffin mix. Well, this one's going to go edge to edge, so I'm going to put it on the side that I didn't ink. So I think what I'll do is just glue it down and then trim around it. This is from a 1956 magazine. Press it right down into the glue. There's one. be a pretty big face. I'll save that for something else. Look at this cool thing that came out of the uh, 1956, probably the same magazine. But it, I have, I think, three different ones. You could fold it, make it into a booklet. This is for some kind of a disposable cup. It's Dixie. I think I'll make a paper clip out of that. That's another thing. I can get out my paper clips that I made in one of my videos with things like this and use it in this journal. See, I need something for our background. Scissors got buried.
I keep meaning to buy another pair of the tiny scissors that I love to fussy cut with because I, I have them in various places so they're where I need them and I'm missing a pair or two. But I always forget to pick up another pair. I think she needs something up there, so I'll just use this up there. Now, let's try to glue her without ripping her head off. Just a fun way to use uh, <clears throat> images from old books and magazines, like old book, old magazine, whatever you have on hand that you want to use. Even new books and magazines. Three, right? We've done three. Yep. Better waffles. I like waffles. Because I have that white border up there, I'm going to put some washi tape on it. Oh, 
Oops. Sorry for bumping you. I think I inked the last one. Let's use this. This will be easier. Apparently it doesn't like punching through the washi tape. My washi tape away. I can find an advertisement for that one. It's in here. Perfect. Cam coat, a protective coat that seals tile joints and keeps out dirt. Need to do anything, oops, anything extra to that one. Except round it and ink the back, but I'll do that later. I don't know why this isn't working very well. And 
have one more. And this one I used green. I had this green cardstock and it was plain green on that side, which went well with this, so I hope it doesn't like look incongruous to have them all out of file folders except for one green one. That's cute. There's some more cam clean. I'll just use that. And I don't have to fill in the blank areas because it's green. So that looks fine. I will just trim it a little closer to the frame and notch it out right there. I'm sorry. Now I have this that has the tip ticket stub, which would match those. It wouldn't line up perfectly, but hopefully it'll look all right. Okay. So I just have to, I have to glue something, I guess you could write on that, but I might glue something on there just to make it easier to write. Now we have cards for all of those pockets, and as soon as I get the tabs made for all of them, those pockets will be done and I can move on to something else. Um, let's see, we can spend a little more time. This is the rest of the advertisement for the Dixie Cups. 
I can just make a little journaling card with that. Tuck it in somewhere once I have tuck spots. I do have something I know I want to use for a tuck spot. in a drawer if I can well here it is couldn't even find which drawer I had these in but they're the Viewmaster reels so I'm just going to find a page in each journal to put a Viewmaster reel This says Home of Santa's Workshop. This one says Montreal. I don't want to, I can save that one for Christmas next year. says Boston. I can use these too. Then I could back this with something and tuck it in there and I could actually have... Wait. I gotta glue that again. Don't mess with it. But if I make a journaling card out of this, I could add stuff to it because it's not going to be tucked completely into a pocket like that. This one will be harder to glue on because it's got um, glossy areas on it. Hopefully this will work. If not, I will use my glossy accents. Trying to decide if I want to leave a margin up here or down here to add something to it. So for now I'm just going to leave a margin on both sides and then I'll figure it out. Sorry for the noise. figure out what I'm going to do with it and it will end up going in there. I 
Here's an advertisement for needlepoint kits to do chair covers. I'll cut this one off. Just turning around to the paper tin behind me. I'll trim that a little closer. And that can go in there, but I'm going to do something else to embellish those cards. So then I will need some sort of a pocket on the backs of the rest of these. I could use this. That would be fun. And then make a tag or something to put in it. I'm not going to do anything to embellish it. I like it just the way it is. See if I have another one of those. I have this red one, and it's come unglued there a little bit, so I'm going to glue it. I'm still going to put it on this way even though it reads that way because it'll be harder to pull something out toward the spine of the book. And I'm not gluing them on so that you can tuck something behind them, just I want to give them a little more security. So they're glued solidly down. And I think it will be fun to make a tag to go in them. First page, first signature. I think it's this one. Nope, this is the middle signature. This one's the first one. So I just need one more pocket, but I am going to stop the video and 
go clean my bedroom. But we got a little more done today on these two golden books that I'm making. Thank you for watching, and I will see you again when I have time to get in here and get crafty. Have a good evening. Bye-bye.